Well, just being able to do it again a second uh, time around, I think our young ladies know what to expect. They're so excited. I think, you know, the first year, of course, just a little bit shell shock, but they are so poised. They are so tenacious. They are so ready to play. I, I can't. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so elated. So I know we're going to represent the SWAT conference well. We're going to represent Alabama State well. And uh, we can be playing a better opponent than uh, Florida coming from the SEC. Very, very strong team. They won the SEC. Um, but yet, if they're still in the eighth seed, I think that tells us the NC2A is looking at us quite differently than having us as a 16 seed. So I'm really excited about our possibilities and the opportunity. Okay, now, of course, um, early on in the season, you had some pretty stiff competition. And I remember talking to you, you said that it was reasons like this right now in which that's why you scheduled those very tough opponents to get you to where you are now. Absolutely. I think my young ladies are so athletic and they are now accustomed to playing at that level. Playing against the Arizonas and those guys and the CSUN and those, those are things that we must make sure that we implement in our program because we don't just aspire to win the SWAT. We aspire to continue to win and to go beyond the first round of the NC2As and the second round until we get this program where we really want it to be and where a program that we can look back on years from now and be very proud. Okay, and just on another note, maybe kind of just talk about how you know you guys submitting a legacy here now with this uh, ASU volleyball program. You know, when I started recruiting this class, because what you see right now is a, a compilation of all of my kids, and I think you'll hear from my, my uh, captain a little bit later, Myla Marshall, when we recruited those guys, we told them that we're going to change the tradition here. We're going to leave a legacy, we're going to start a tradition, and we're going to make all those kids that come after them very proud to be a part of this program. It's not a right, but it's a privilege to be able to play at my ASU. And so that's what we've done.